Well, hello and welcome back to episode 22 titled They Hate You When You're Alive, my favorite album in the Library of Congress and Plants in the Closet. And of course, remember, most people hate you when you're alive and naturally they love and admire you when you're dead. I leave you with some references on my favorite album of all time, Asia by Steely Dan. And for those who are not aware of it, it's spelled A-J-A, not A-S-I-A, as in the continent. This album was released in late September of 1977, and it was very sweet to have this masterpiece recognized by the Library of Congress, along with a host of other music critics. It was very much deserved, and I was very proud that they won three Grammys, including Best Album of 2000, titled Two Against Nature, along with Best Pop Vocal Album and Best Engineered Album for that year, That, too, was a great album. The press release on the album, Asia, states that every year the Library of Congress chooses 25 sound recordings to preserve. The National Recording Registry is a list of sound recordings deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant by the Library of Congress. These recordings are not necessarily selected as the best recordings of all time, but rather as works of enduring importance to American culture and hence in need of permanent preservation by either the Library of Congress or another qualified institution. 25 recordings are named to the registry each year. The rest of the list, however, is dominated by actual songs. <coughs> Excuse me, and it's a diverse bunch. The album Asia, Asia was recorded in six different studios in New York and L.A., and the album required 30 different musicians and singers for only seven songs and less than 40 minutes of music. And back to Mary life. My wife just told me that she may have to put one of our plants into the closet to prevent it from blooming. And naturally, I told her that having a plant in a closet kind of defeats the purpose of having the plant. <laughs> the, the reason elderly people love to sing and dance so much, especially those in assisted living facilities, is that their lives have reached the essence of life itself, music. It can form some of your most memorable moments, and it has a way of elevating oneself. And it has been proven that elderly people relate more to music than actual conversation, and many of them will get up and dance and or sing along with the songs. And trust me, I've seen it happen. And if you play music to infants, they customarily will start moving their arms and legs and smile and laugh. Basically, they're doing their own dance. Music is infectious. After a period of about 15 years or so, I decided to revisit Finnegan's Wake, the classic novel by James Joyce. Originally, I managed to read about 50 pages or so and dropped it. I started it all over again and resolved myself to complete the novel, a painstaking ordeal, but after reading about 130 pages, I've offered my own critique on the classic, and it's one word. What? (laughs) I mean, I stopped there and realized this has to be the craziest book ever written. Total insanity and quite challenging. Maybe one day I'll finish it, but not now. My recent Father's Day card from my wife stated that the best chapters in my life have you in them. That was a very kind appraisal of our years together. However, it should have included, and some of the worst chapters in my life have you in them also. (laughs) And that's from her perspective. If someone ever asked me what the most unique name of a local sports team in an intramural league was, and yes, I don't think a category exists on unique names for intramural leagues. It's got to be a very narrow criteria. Anyway, the name of the team was We Drink Too Much. Yes, We Drink Too Much. That was the name of a co-worker's team that played in a local basketball league in New York City, and they followed their name to a T. I was out with them one night, and they lived up to the name in every degree. We have managed to create two opposing climactic forces which could lead to disastrous results. And on, on one end, we have critical water shortages in four of the highest density populations on our planet. And on the other end, we have rising water levels due to global warming, particularly on the poles where effects are heightened. This is good stuff. Water shortages versus rising sea levels, and they don't cancel each other out. It comes down to whether the high waters can put out the fires from the parched deserts or global droughts create local or more widespread territorial conflicts. And according to the UN, as many as 5 5 billion people could experience water shortages by 2050. Perhaps we'll drown in a cascade of both. 
And being born and raised in New Haven, Connecticut, raised mostly in West Haven, Connecticut, so close enough, we were exposed to some of the finest pizza in the world. And pizza is not pronounced pizza in New Haven. It's pronounced abiz, which is how they would pronounce it in southern Italy. And most of the pizza joints in New Haven spell it abiz, A-P-I-Z-Z-A. They put the A in front of the word pizza. And it may sound arrogant. We have nothing to hide about it. We know we have the best abiz in the world. And, people, and we let people know, especially when pizza in another city or town is served to us that doesn't stand up to ours. We have no qualms and we'll put our pizza against anyone's pizza in the world. And don't get me wrong, I've had some pretty good pizza in other towns, but usually they're just trying to emulate the thin crust pizza with just the right char and the dough and the cornmeal used on the, on the bottom of the pie that is heated in a 750 degree or even hotter oven. And very little cheese, too. Too much cheese absolutely ruins a pizza. We don't mess around with our Napolitana beats in New Haven. Disagree with me, and we're going to end up dancing. You haven't lived if you haven't had a, a, a pizza from a beats from Sally's, Pepe's, or Modern Abiz. And I worked with no less than five New Yorkers that agree with us. New York City can't hold a candle to New Haven in the pizza game. And the New Haven area is such a competitive market for pizza, or Abiz, just about any pizza served in the surrounding towns is quite solid also. You can get a very enjoyable pizza to parties in Tom and Pat's in West Haven. And I've had some decent pizzas in Hamden and North Haven also in the suburbs. I have a question for everyone. Have the failures of humanity been caused more by what we've done or more by what we've not done? For me personally, surely it's the former. Our excesses have amassed much more damage and destruction to our planet and humanity than have, have our deficiencies. We have to clean up our mess or it's going to clean us up. And lastly, we ignore the history of oppression when we believe that democracy and liberalism will treat people equally. And I will stop here.